Welcome everybody to 48 A Talk, episode 122. I'm your host, Rage Bolly as always. Joining me this time, it's Colin Jans on the bottom right and Derek on the bottom left. And in the top corner is our replacement for now, Okada Nana, who's showing off that she became number one. How are yep. you guys doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, it was pretty good. Hey, uh, it's December, so that means we're going straight away in Christmas. I got a tree. It was heavy. I'm tired. But yeah, <laughs> let's go into this. Uh, if you may notice, DX is not here this week. Uh, he is also busy with uh, uh... family. Yeah, it sucks a little <laughs> bit. So no, no DX, no life, man. Mm -hmm. I, 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 this, this is this is for DX. This is for DX. Let's pour some Doctor P for you. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's go straight away then. Um. SKE48 with their new single came out with the coupling uh. songs. We just watched them actually, and I'll just give my opinion on all three of them at once. <coughs> Bland coupling songs. I, I really didn't feel like, oh, this is a hit, oh, this is amazing. It did nothing to me. It's, it, I think the Team S uh, one, it felt like they're not in the same room. It was like we just add them one by one in digitally. CGI again. Yeah, it felt like that uh, they did some some work in there. For Team K2, uh, Furata Now is very hot, and the song itself was not that interesting, but okay. And for the third one, apparently I have one member I need to watch, uh, Derek. That that's, looks very mm -hmm. interesting, but other than that, it's not, not that special. So those are my opinions. What do you guys think on the SKE coupling songs? Go ahead, Colin. You go first. Please. Uh, Team E is like a song for children for seven years old. <laughs> I, 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 I was like, how old am I again? Ooh. Ooh. It, it, it really felt like a song that children would sing in some mm. way. Uh, mm. That should look great, though. The choreography was also like for child children. <laughs> it was. I was like... I was like, Dasu is like how old, and she's like doing moves that a four-year-old would do. It's like, uh... with her uh, talent, you would say this is way too easy for. Her. Oh, yeah. this is like this is like me counting to three. It's like so easy for her. Mm. Like she is. It's I gotcha. way below her level. Mm -hmm. TMS, mm -hmm. eh? Uh, Team K two, I actually liked. Uh, it had this hypnotic thing going on and I thought that the camera work was really interesting combined with the music gave me this hypnotic feel and of course Riyatana was hot uh, and I, I thought that her and Obamina looked really nice together uh, just a very interesting camera work by with the music gave me this hypnotic feel so I actually liked it I actually uh, bought I bought it but not without knowing what the song was because I they were released after I bought the CD and I just bought it knowing that Furatano was the center. I didn't. What? Really wait. Care. What do you? What did you think of Jarena in Team S? What was your thoughts on her particular? I'm very curious what you think. Both of you, actually. Digitally uh, enhanced. <laughs> Digitally enhanced. Interesting. Uh, I actually, I, 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 she is the center for the A side. So to be, let her be center for a coupling song is like, yeah, is it really necessary? I would have preferred like. Uh -huh. Kitagariyoa or something. I really like her. I would love for her to do like a center thing. Um, but uh, yeah, she she was there. She looked nice, but she looked like it was like the Jirina from a year ago. Like the, the, maybe the theory about that it being CGI makes really sense now. Huh. Maybe they already shot it like a year ago, and it's like, oh, they have some bin where it's like, which one going to use for this coupling song? Ah, this one. This looks still relevant enough. Use it. Yeah. All the members are still yeah. in it, so yeah. Yeah, probably that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. What do you think, Derek? Yeah, I, I, I kind of have a little bit of a different take on each of the songs. Um, I'll start with Calatown's graduation song, which, oh, yeah, um, yeah, did you want to, did you have anything particular about that that stood out for you? Yeah, you're maybe going to hate me, but I actually liked it and it made me emotional. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. I, it's good. I actually, in the way that it, that they did it, I actually tend not to like ballads. I just 
they, mm. don't, they don't do it for me. But this one kind of did. And I think it's more the way uh, it was presented. It was, <laughs> I know that De uh, Derek didn't like the, um, I think he did. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, how NMB's uh, recent single like incorporated all the flashback thingies. And like with this, yeah. uh, hands, that one in particular. But this one, for me, it worked just to see her looking gorgeous, by the way. I, I, I'm actually one of those people that always thought she looked beautiful. That That's true, though. She looks amazing. Well, she changed over the years. That, that, that's, let's that not yeah, forget how yeah. she started and uh, what she is. But... And, uh, and the MV really showed that, like sh showing all those clips of her, her growth, literally. Uh, it, 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 not nostalgic maybe for some other people nostalgic and i i do get that um but uh for me it was yeah it kind of made me sad that she's leaving mm. but that mm. may be because of uh the recent ak bingo episode um where she helped i forgot uh her name but with the w no oh, no, no, no with no, the no. w yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like that episode, that episode alone showed why I love Kauton so much. So maybe because that mm -hmm. was on my mind, being like, oh, she's really gone, or she's, you know, leaving. Um, that this song was like, damn, was like ripping a bandage off in a way. But I actually mm -hmm. liked it, but maybe I'm the only one. Let me know, people. Mm. All right, Derek. Um, uh, yeah, like, like. Like like Kalatan is always very close to my heart. Meeting her was one of the best handshakes I've ever had with AKB's uh, groups because she's just she doesn't care what anyone thinks. Um, when you're in her line, she will hold your hand. She'll talk to you until she's done. She ignores the guards. Like the guards don't even bother her at this point. Like she just does whatever. So losing her in that sense is going to be very difficult. Uh, Chris Stafari, our, our good friend um, here. Uh, who comes on occasionally, um, he really has given her like a, a huge tribute over the many years because he always makes it a point to see her at every handshake event. Um, they they've have a very special bond. So I'm actually very worried for Chris in that sense because, you know, he's losing yet another member he's always, you know, he's grown fond of. And um, and I can see why. He's the reason why I went to Caltown in the first place, you know, because um, – I, I was just thinking about like what he was like. Oh, you got to meet her. You know the handshake. She's amazing, and, and she didn't disappoint. I met her. I, w I went twice. Uh, she was that good. Like I mean, she just. I you just you you have. She's magnetic. Um, the the videos. I think I did. I thought did a good job of showing the the not scushy, the nostalgia. Um, it was cool. Uh, I like the part where she takes the 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 recorder off the the post and and picks mm. it up because it does kind of signify maybe where she's going. <laughs> maybe her and Nozawa can start a like a film crew or something. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yeah, good yeah. idea. Yeah, I think I think they'd do a good job because uh, Nozawa. Again, awesome this show has awesome. great ideas that AKS just does not do. <laughs> you listening, AKS? <laughs> maybe someday they will. Hint hint. Ooh. But I, I will say, <clears throat> but but I will say. Um, it just it's like reaching for the low fruit when it comes to these videos you know what i mean it's like oh let's throw a bunch of like old school it, images it's lazy it's just uh, like it's lazy yeah it's just it's it's see, hard, it's hard that... work to get those those Good. clips together but it feels like ah it's just an easy idea what do you do oh just gather some clips I, I mean... over the years Right, save it for the VTR in the graduation concert. That's my thing. Oh, yeah, then yeah. then I, I feel that's appropriate there. I feel yeah. like I want to see that at the grad concert. For an actual produced video, why not go out the bang? Why not go out with something yeah. heavy? Even if yeah. it is a ballad, though. I'm, I'm okay as long as the ballad's well-constructed. I mean, we've had some good ballads over the years. You know, you know I mean... It, it doesn't it doesn't have to be bad necessarily but it just it just felt like it was just oh here's a here's a, here you go we're gonna pick ballad number 430 on the rack and here you go this will be cow dance. like it's just it doesn't it's just there um but like you guys said cow Town's beautiful um she she looks very womanly in this uh she's grown up which is so crazy um <laughs> I don't know. I thought it'd been more funnier if it would have been true to her spirit in SK, and she would have been like, it would have been real variety. Like yeah, uh, Okubo yeah. would have showed, Okubo would have showed up, and, oh, and they would have did some funny stuff, or again, you know what I mean? Good idea. You know, Ta Tani would have been in there. They could have showed them together, like maybe walking, like you know, being stuck in the room, having to do the lottery. Could have started out that <laughs> yeah. way. Then Akubo, yeah. Akubo, like the door rings, and Akubo comes in and is like, "Oh, I have your lottery winnings." And then they're like, "What?" And then it's like, "Boo boo," and then it's like funny. 
I mean, they could have done so much yeah. with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, was, I was. They kept it's it too like simple. When, um, it, do you remember Raina, Mat- Raina Matsui's graduation concert? Uh, the the choreographer, the the you know the real hard, the 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 hard instructor came and they they recreated that whole scene out of the documentary from SK where she hurt her back and yeah. it's just like. You know, if during Pinocchio, uh, which we call Pinocchio fingers, Pinocchio, I can't remember. But um, so I think like they, they're the SKE. What has SKE been to us over the years? What has it been to you, Robin? What is SKE to you? Backgrounds. <laughs> Shut up. Not backgrounds. What has SKE been to you? Early SKE in particular. Oh, early. Oh, early SKE. I would say yeah. It's it's just an enjoyment group, like fun and yeah. and and energetic and. Fresh. Right? Yeah, bring, bring, bring in that Nagoya style, basically. Nah, Nagoya style. And Colin, would you agree? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. It's a ballad, it's a graduation concert, but that sags me into like Team S and, and, and what I saw there. Why not have these crazy, like, insane videos, insane, like, energy, the Genki spirit? It's like all these girls are getting older, so maybe they're just all mellowed out in general, but it's like. They still have such fresh young crops of girls coming in. That, like, why not give? Why not the senpai show the kohais how SK style is done? And and so it's like with Team S, it's like yeah, Drina look cool. Um, I, I I like again Drina. Drina's the boss. You know, her voice sticks out above all those other girls. Mm-hmm. Although I will say Kitsuka Rioja sounded awesome in it. And you know what? Let's be honest. SK is gonna belong to Rioja someday if she oh, stays yeah. with it. And... Someday she's still young. Someday. Yeah, I mean, Das is Das is in first in line for the Leech, but I would say Rio's like, you know, she's there. Yeah, yeah now, strong group. Yeah, they got they got some leaders still, but, yeah, but I'm I, saying, I said like, that a few episodes ago that there are a lot a lot of good people, a mm. lot of standouts. There players. are, there are. Mm-hmm. It's wasted talent to see, like in the Team S video, you 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 just have like a real basic dance. Also, too, again, I I'm not I am not picking on. Drina for for looking a little more filled out with her form, but I am so used to pencil thin Drina, and it's just so weird to uh, see her as twenty something year old Drina. I guess it's mm. just like I, I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I'm not necessarily negating it. It's just weird. she looks healthy. That that's that's the thing. Yeah, she looks healthy. Yeah. I'm used to her looking very unhealthy, very like way too pencil thin. So in, in that sense, it, it's it's a bit of an adjustment. I'm not saying a bad thing. I'm just saying it's just weird. But overall, I don't think it's necessarily denying her dance skills at all. Her voice is certainly, I think, getting it's. It's just she's at like the top of her game, and I and and you can see why she's the queen of AKB. You know, at this time, it's sad that she's had to take the first half of her queendom mm. and and been on hiatus. But now that I'm kind of seeing her, it's like, yeah, like man, girl, like you need to be out there. You need to be pressing things. Like you are the queen. You've earned this. Mm. You've wanted this for how long? How many years have we we wished for this, right? I kind of want to say something about it. I just read today um, uh, from her Mobame uh, that she's actually doing like a lot of things uh, currently. She's like, her schedule is very full and she's doing uh, lots of things. So in case you don't know uh, that, but I did read that uh, today. So that's like, she's really getting back into it, uh, doing lots of stuff. I hope she doesn't overdo it. You know, mm-hmm. I, I still I still feel she's not one hundred percent. December's always but... a busy time for them. So. Yeah, and very much her, so. Very her much birthday so. stage is like in a few hours, actually. So that's oh yeah. crap! That's she's, right. she's actually been doing quite a few things, like a lot, like every day I've heard. So it's she's it, getting it, back to that uh, workhorse. Yeah, time. I really, I, you know what? I really hope. I don't mean to be, uh, you know, a bit, bit negative towards Eric, but I do. Yeah, I hope, and you will agree with me that when January comes around, she's like. Full force, back at it. Yeah. Here I am, Jirina. Hello, I'm the queen. And oh, I oh, that's a recommendation. I'm, I'm getting there uh, towards the end of the show. But something cool is happening that I think you guys will like mm. that you may not know. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, I, I love Jirina to like. I really love this this girl. I'm so proud of her for being at the top. She deserves that title. I wish even for a team coupling song. I actually agree with you, Colin. I think they should just let that be to like Real Ha or something else. But at the same time, I'm also happy to see Drina. Like I'm just happy to see more of her. I'm happy to have her back. It, it, things feel a little more normalized in that sense. And and for better or for worse, 
I'm just happy she's there. So that was good. Mm-hmm. Fear Hatanao song, um, she was great in it. I mean, she looked great. The short hair is doing it for me. Uh, the outfit she wore, very form fitting, oh. very nice. Um, mm. Sitting down in the chairs and, and tutting and, yeah. and doing all the, the, the domino thing, the triangle dominoes. It's like, like yeah. yeah, that that was very weird how they did that. Like I, I they did use like a uh, wide angle shots and that, which is why I like the weird camera thing because they did that a lot yeah. and it was very weird like from the side it's like would that be good like imagine me 100 no not 100 like 10 columns like being like this like it's it, it was odd i agree that was mm. odd yeah i i agree with you like i i think it's just that the song itself was very like airy it's kind of like team ass and it was song was like a little bit airy and just like just mm. it's breezy it's so breezy that wind went right past me and i don't remember it uh, because yeah. it's just like there was nothing there let me backtrack real quick i remember what, yeah. what i wanted to say about cow um <clears throat> one thing i'll say about her her voice when she was singing what i found very interesting you guys may not get this reference i apologize about that but there's a very extremely famous uh, underground group here in Japan that used to be around called Bell Ring Girls Shoujo Heart or Bellha. And Bellha has now become the group known as There There There's. And um, I'm a I'm a diehard supporter of There There There's. I, I, I have been for a couple years now. And um, they are legitimately one of the top, if not the like at the top of the underground idol world as far as, you know, you just can't get better because Bell Ring was like legendary. Like to the point of like, there's so many girls that have came out of that. They're now in other groups and so on. Um, she sounds like one of the members from that group that's now in there. That there's and and the way her voice and stuff. I'm almost wondering if the girl I'm thinking of is from the same area that Kyle Tan grew up because the accent and everything. It just hit me like, boy, like she she sounds just like this girl. And that is probably one of the best compliments I can give. Even though Bell Ring Girl's Heart, the whole point of that group was to not be good, to sound bad, to like just make fun of everything, and they did. Like, I think they've actually gotten better over the years. I mean, yeah, they still sound very idly, if you know what I mean by that. But it's like, they also, they have their own sound. Like, you will know a There, There, There song by hearing that. And it, it's it's like very much a tribute to Bellhop. So, like, I almost hear Calatine being a member in that group, and it would just be amazing if she was. She'd fit perfectly. Um, but it's like, I just, her voice echoed to me in that when I heard it. I'm like, oh, wow, like, am I listening to a Belha song? Like, this is crazy, even though it was a ballad. Anyways, getting back to what I was talking about, one last thing I'll say, Team E. Um, Team E, like I was telling you guys when I was watching, is it possible to forget a song while you're watching it? Mm-hmm. Like, I hate to be so critical of, like, my, my Oshi's team, but it's like, I just the video, the song, it, it was so like honestly, I can't. I just watched. I can't remember any. I can't remember a single thing about it. It went by by uh, like that. I hate to say that. I love Dasu. I love Tani. Timmy is my group. I mean, I do this all the time. I even do this now when people ask me at shows for like posts, like selfies and stuff. Like I do this all the time, and to to honor Tani, to honor my Oshi, my eternal Oshi, and it's like she. It was like what happened hmm. and also tani and, and tennis gear not good like come on tani like you're not a tennis player i'm sorry but i i just i don't know i um i i wanted more uh but they're coupling songs so almost by definition they they tend to be not more although we have seen some coupling songs over the years that have been like miraculously amazing Rarity. my end of the year special may or may not include a coupling song as the song of the year i'll just leave it at that but my what team. i am saying <laughs> ngt but what i'm saying is like it's just you know there's like there's just it's ske man it's like you have the queen in your ranks you you are goya pride you are like the number two group you were the second group ever formed in akb's history mm. you're not just any yeah. subgroup like you are the group next to nmb you know what i mean as far as like if we want to go hierarchy so it's like i just do expect a little more in that mm. sense and it's just like mm. i just i just want a song like one two three four years ago again just give me anything like that pario why emerald any bonsai any any of those songs Give me a blend. I don't care if you copy verses and choruses from each of them, put it all in one song, add some trumpets, and then throw – just have them run around and do the same thing. Like, I don't care. Go Everyday Katusha on it. Like, it's just – I just need that from SKA. Give me a mm-hmm. solid SKA banger. 
and life will return to complete normalcy in 2019. Can we hope for it? Can we hope for it, guys? Tell me we can. Please tell me we can. Call we it. Can. Is there hope? Is there hope? Yeah, Robin, there's always hope. hope. Robin, you just got a treat today. Robin, you got a treat. <laughs> can I ask for a Christmas gift? Can you put a Christmas gift under the tree? I'll, I'll put a box under the tree that says SKE48 <laughs> Hopes and Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put something in the box, otherwise it's, there's nothing. Yeah, there's honey, emptiness. Put honey in there. <laughs> no, oh, no, emptiness is kind of what there is now. Uh, let's let's wow. put honey in there, and she'll pop out with Dasu and Kalatan and, and all these great girls. And yeah. All right. Nice. Anyways, that's a nice present. All right, right. Before yeah. we move on, um, Derek, I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, your sound level is great. We can hear you every fine, but I'm seeing that Discord is a little bit laggy on your visual side. So. Let's take this time and try to restart Discord on your side uh, before we okay. go into our next topic. And uh, I tried to do it sooner, but we were going so on a roll on SKE48. I'm like, you know what? Just I'm sorry. let him talk. Sorry, people. No, no, don't worry. It's the internet connection. So um, let's see if you can re restart uh, Discord and then try and, and move on into the next topic. Uh, I'm just I'm going to leave and come back, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be fine. So, right, cool. so for a moment, people will be like, oh, God, Colin is huge right uh, now on my screen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like anime con all over again. All right, let's see how the <laughs> connection is now. That's that's a lot better. Yes, yes, yes. He's back. Okay. Sorry. No, I no, no, no. It's fine. I I noticed it way too late, and we were in the topic, so it's like, yeah, let's just finish this topic up. Mm. Hopefully, the the viewers were not a little bit weirded out that you were like talking into the future, or basically that that you're visually a little bit blind. Uh, but you're fine now. Sorry about that. So. Mm. Okay. Let's go to the other sister group first. Um, HKT48 had some news yeah. that mm. they will have um, Miyawaki Sakura and Yabuki Nako joining them in the Tokyo Dome City Hall concert on the 18th of December. So, hey. so that makes you wonder, since they're already in Japan, and I don't think there's going to be one concert. So, because Eyes One will be also at the FNS Music Festival that's coming oh, yeah. up. So they'll probably perform there with the. Uh, so the weird thing is they're now not a part of HKT48, but I believe they still will be at Koaku. I still believe they will be at um, FNS and and all these events. So they will be at uh, FNS. I believe they. Uh, the, there, there, there will be an FNS. There, there will definitely. Yeah, no, be an I FNS. mean uh, that iZone will do stuff like with AKB and Nogi and or Kea. I think I read something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're they're, they're gonna do some. Uh, some compilation together, um, some projects in there. But I wonder if if, if the Kaku uh, thing will happen because they haven't been announced for Kaku itself, but maybe the AKB no, Kohaku. If uh, if they will be appearing on the AKB Kohaku, I think it will be more of a surprise. I'm gonna say it now. Be fun. I'm gonna say it now. There will be one of the uh, the groups will do La Vie and Rose, probably Team Red. Uh, but like only AKB members or something like that group. And then Eyes One maybe going to do Fortune Cookie, who knows? Something like that. So so something in combination uh, to that side. But we'll see. Um again, nice opportunity for Harpy to to a return. Uh if there are two uh. things two things I want from that concert. Uh it's I want Harupi to come back. I mean, we just had the seventh anniversary. She didn't came back, kind of in a, in a way, not in really a spiritual manner. <laughs> um, and I really hope that will be so good. I mean, you have the number one and one of the number twos leaving. No, I sorry. I yeah. You know, well, I I'm not counting Sashi. Um, forgive me. Sorry, but you know what I mean. Uh, and if Harupi comes back, that would be freaking amazing. And that would be amazing in my combination with my second thing, um, the announcement for the next single. I, I, it has been a very long time since HKT's last song. I really like to see a new one. Uh, I, you know, I always want uh, a new song that I can put on my playlist. And I, I, if I like it, I like it. Doesn't matter who or what. And if Harupi comes back with the announcement of the new single, and she would be the sender. HKT, amazing. Instant hit. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, yeah, I I think we're gonna get one or the other. If we get both, that would be truly a miracle. But I I think um, Christmas if Harpy comes back and and she is the center, my only hope is that again it, it's like it's like a melon juice, you know? It, it's something that shows off 
again what we love about these groups you know yeah. something is or or like you know it, Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Colin, you're still there? Derek, still there? No. Okay, let's have him. Okay! <laughs> One moment, people, because the Discord is doing very, very fine currently. Um, hopefully they can hear me and not crash. Oh, boy. Oh, let's see if we can fix this. Yeah, there's Colin. Hi. That's good. Ah. I thought it was only me. And now Derek will be... The robot. I am the host of 48 Hawks. Oh, sorry. Something like that. Discord okay. completely it's crashed, a... but we're back now, so... It's a Discord! Uh, get it. Uh, it's because DX isn't here, that's why. Yeah, Damn that's it, why. <laughs> Damn it, you! I'm at the X. Okay, so continue, Derek. Mm. Before we had this crash. I I I don't know what you heard last. I was just gonna say that I miracle. I think, um, yeah, Heart Heartbeat coming back would be really a miracle if yeah. if she did. But I, which song we're we talking about? We talked about Melanju style, and you had another song you were talking about. Like love, love and peace. Like love and peace. A anything like that. Anything like that would be amazing. So. So yeah, it would be fun to see that in the mm. this future. Um. New songs, though. We, we also forgot to mention the new song came out uh, from the Junken. Fortune yeah. Cherry. Wait. Wait, it did? Oh, my God. I to I Okay, completely went over my head here. <laughs> Talk uh, to me. What was it? Big deal. Okay. Um, you said, Colin, the choreography has been done by? Nakano Ikumi. Okay. Why don't I see any damn choreography in the video? Okay, I, 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 two things. Um, uh, the song was performed today uh, during the handshake event in Osaka, maybe, I forgot. Um, so maybe there was choreography there. And I believe I read on Oricon, again, that is translated, um, that there is a choreography, but it's not shown in the MV at all. <laughs> it's... It's a uh, it's a video. They're touring their their hometown, I believe, or something it was like. like. I honestly thought, is this from the same company that you did like, you know, teach a teacher? I'm not defending the song, but when you compare that as one, it's like really this to me that MV was like two girls that had money and got a budget together and were like, hey, let's do a song. I don't know, like, no, no, I'm not going there. That's no. Um, Not too late. But, uh, okay, Friday. Um, but <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> oh, Colin froze again. That Discord, stop messing us up. The Discord is really not liking us today. No, it, it's really rebelling against us. And Colin has a very nice frozen picture currently. I mean, it's it's wonderful. It, it's it's that, be, that let's that should be his icon right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny that he talked about a budget, and currently we're also we like technical difficulties yeah. and freezing up, so we're not allowed to complain. Actually, man, this is taking a long time before Colin comes back. I'm trying to extend. No, I hear him, right? I oh yeah, I'm, I can uh, hear oh. him. Oh, I'm singing. Uh, 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 I was uh. like doing uh, rotation and. Yeah, you're still frozen. Time. You're still frozen oh, on our side, I'm, man. I'm, I'm still alive, though. I'm still. <laughs> Discord. It sounds like he's like. Yeah, it sounds like he's trying to talk his way out of like a really old Atari 2600 game. Yeah, while his mouth exactly is open and like clo eyes closed. Yeah. Like, like I feel like I'm playing ET now, like the old Atari 2600 game. Okay, Colin is back, but now Derek yes, is frozen. I never left. I never I'm frozen. Left. Oh. Let it go. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. It's slowing but I'm frozen. Though. It's the the AKB gods really damn it, Achan, Yuko, Itano, Shinoda. Really, it's like eh? they don't want us to talk. Uh, we... Am I back or no? Yeah, you're but you're back. Right. The weird thing is, on my side, everything looks fine. Like yeah, I know mine too. Everything yeah, looks great. My, like you look, you're like too. normal. <laughs> Eh, sorry, f sorry, people. Where the best? Uh, they, I think they're used to it to do this side now. Bit of Discord, get it? Dis. Ah, Fuck your own. Fuck your own. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Well, while while Colin, while Colin somehow makes his way out of the Atari game, um, <laughs> what I was gonna say really quickly was um, that I think uh, as far as like HKT goes, um, you know, and, and the junk in and, and things like that, it's these are all things like we kind of kind of anticipated, particularly the junk in. Like I don't think any of us really had any expectations there. Um, I mean, I hate to say it like that, but it's just like one of those things we knew could or could not be a great hit. Uh, I was hoping it would be more, but it's not. So that's, you know, whatever. Um, I, I will check out the MV and maybe think about it a little bit more in depth in that regard. But I don't know. Like, like to me, it's like the, the Junkin lost its specialness when it stopped being about the individual. It really did. I, it's, I mean, it's not even a center stage anymore. It's just like it's right. at the end. It's, it, it's not even in a dome. It's, it doesn't even feel like a real battle. It's just like you girls to show up, do you throw some hand signals and DMV from Fortune Cherry was yeah, very right, similar. Exactly. Like like, like like Fujita Nana winning was amazing. Tanabe Miku winning was amazing. Tanabe Miku made world headlines for crying out loud. Mm. It, it's like there was something really special about that. And that even Milky winning. Milky, Milky was, was a strong awesome. one. Even it got pushed aside with the single announcement. But still, like it, it was like Milky winning, you know, it was such an awesome thing to see NMB finally get something. Jury na, Paradu, Shinoda, just... I mean, you join, like, this long line of awesomeness. Even Tanabe Miku and Fujita Nana, I consider, okay, like, they deserve to be up there, mm -hmm. even with those big powerhouses. Yeah. Speaking of Paradu, not to go on another tangent here, have you heard anything... I, it's, Anybody seen this girl? I, I mean, she like she, no, she's fine. Legit vanished. No, no, no. Is she no. Okay? She's, she's doing a lot of acting, acting actually, and mm -hmm. um, she's in a yeah. new movie. Yeah. Yeah, like a new TV show stuff like that. So she's pretty busy. I I think she posted something on on her social media that's like like not Instagram but like some videos Twitter? in there. So yeah, yeah she's, she's doing fine. <laughs> it's yeah. Like the 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 actress life basically. Mm. Uh, she's not in the I, I, not in the spotlight, but she's earning her money. Has she? Because I mean, I know she. It didn't seem like she would want to come back to AKB for any like guest appearances or anything. Nope. I, I think she wanted to have like a clean break. Uh, she wasn't really happy in AKB. It seemed, anyways. <laughs> no. So yeah, yeah. She great. still hangs out with uh, Shinoda. I know that. Yeah. Shinoda Marco and Kawairina. She hangs out uh, mm -hmm. with her. Other than that, good. not okay. really. So interesting. Yeah, I I just uh, I I just was wondering about her the other day. But yeah, as far as like like what we were talking about, I I do feel like 2019 might actually be one of those good special type years where like everything, all these big things happen. You know, like it, it's it's way too early to talk about um so thank you, but just put putting it out there, so thank you could be really interesting mm -hmm. this year. Um, well, I don't know if Jarena's going to do a repeat, but we'll, we're, see. well That's a good segue for uh, our main topic, I would say, for this week. Sure, please. It yeah. is the um, the music uh, solo competition they are having that happened this ah, week. The singing competition. Yes, yes. And you see the picture on the top of the right screen. Um, so let me go first for the um, first day battle and the top 20. So the first day battle was with NMB48, HKT48, NGT48, and STU48. Uh, mm -hmm. Starting with number 20, well, 19 basically, because they got the same place. So Murashige Ana uh, and Sugahara Riko are on 19th. Nice. Uh, Tashima nice. Meru, Ueki Nao, uh, Ueki Nao are from uh, on, on 17th. Uh, this is surprising. Shiroma Miru at number 15. And uh, Kumazawa Serina. Yamada Noe yeah. is on the list on number 14. That Korean oh. Produce 48 really helped uh, for her. Yeah. If she's considered one of the best singers. Um, Akashi uh, Natsuko and Yura Akari. Uh, mm. Number 11 we have Sukashi Amane. At number mm. 10 we have Kadowaki uh, Miyuna from STU48. On number 9, we have Ueno Haruka, HKT48. On number 8, Hokazo, uh, Hoka Zono Hazuki from HKT48. A lot of new names for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Akiyoshi Yuka from HKT48. 
Koji nice. na Yui from HKT48. Hey. Nice. Toyonaga Aki from HKT48. Takede, uh, Takeda Tomoka from HKT48. Yamazaki Amiru from NMB48. And Yono Honoka from STU48. And at number one is Sakamoto Erina from HKT48. Um, mm. I'm worried for NMB48 again. Since only two of them yeah. made the top 20. A lot of HKT has, has a lot of good singers on this side. Crazy. So what Crazy. Do you, what do you think mm -hmm. of this list? Also, what's surprising to me is one, well, two NGT48. And the number one from NGT48 is Yamada Noe. Yeah, I, have, I, I, I think like Yam the... oh. Yamada Noe, like, that's just hype. That's like a hype thing right there. Because I, I feel like she got a big bump through iZone. Produce 48, all that, but I don't think, I, I don't, I wouldn't look to her as somebody with a great voice. She's somebody with a lot of character in her voice, yeah. which is cool. And that can be a way to approach singing in the idol world. But I think if, like, again, going back to nostalgia, look at some of the people that have won the singing competition in the past. I mean, like Wasserman for crying out loud. Like, like those people, that, that's like super talent. So if you're going to honor like character driven voice, then you could open this up in a much different way as far as competition goes. But it's always been about like legit singing. Like that was kind of the whole point of the competition, I thought. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know about as far as HKT goes and being heavy on it. I mean, I guess it makes sense. A lot of the girls that are coming in these days probably are a little more, more into, I guess, uh, you know, the, the, the singing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Um, just, I, I it, still it's... wonder because management was out of this basically. These were legit judges that were going mm -hmm. to base on your actual voice talent. And to Jamadam Noe was in there, that means she do, is doing something right, even though she has the husky voice. So we'll see. She, she yeah. qualified. It, it's it, we'll see in the future what the next rounds will be. Um, any other names uh, from this day one results? Mirror is Mirror is interesting. Uh, Ta Tashima Tashima has always been solid, I thought. Um, and then and then Shiroma also, I think, I think her voice is pretty solid. I remember seeing her at the Takamina grad concert. She she led Komanagex and Komanagex and uh, it was I don't know her voice like soared above others. Yeah, I could tell she was singing, so I thought that was cool. It was a good voice in that sense. But I I don't know. Like again, it's I have to hear them a little more. As far as like what they can do, it's one thing to get up and sing one song. It's nothing to do it over and over again and repeat it and then win something like this. Also, it's it's also hard because for me, AKB has always been historically not a group that necessarily honors that kind of a talent, but honors the goofballs, honors the the odd, the eccentric combination of all. You know what I'm saying? So it, how do I put it? Um, the girls that can actually sing in AKB48 over the years have not necessarily been the girls that have been like at the top you know they've it, it's they've been somewhere in the middle like Wasman's the perfect example of that um so we'll see i guess i although am, am, am i wrong in assuming that some of the bigger powerhouses over the years did they not compete like fear hata now now didn't compete well that, that's on ske sides this was only um the other sister groups ske and akb were on the second day and we're getting to those okay yeah. All right. Well then. Well, all right. Then I guess I should wait then. Well, second day then. Um, um actually, oh, I go have ahead, Colin. something to say. Um, oh, NMB so actually uh, did a great job. I think their performances were pretty solid overall. Uh, it's just unfortunate that they did not pass it. Uh, gone. I th I thought that they were okay, and Stu as well. Stu surprised me more. Uh, but that maybe because I'm not really. Robin, are, are you I... are you waiting for something? No? I'm sorry. No, Colin is just talking. Are, he's t I I don't have him or see him at all. Oh really? Go, oh. Colin is busy talking currently. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> at least Robin hears me. So that I don't must have be... him at all. Wow. Ah, oh, damn it! He will not hear me. Discord. Like, like literally nothing. Like it's just a big black box. I see him. Tell him I see him and hear. Yeah, him. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you now, Derek. <laughs> Colin can see you and he can hear you. <laughs> it's crazy. This yeah, show it's... really. Technical difficulty song. Da, 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 da. <sighs> okay, well, uh, okay. Let, let's I, let's try and fix this. So, Derek tried to restart again Discord. 
and hopefully you can see Colin again. <laughs> and let's call him wait before ah, and call his big big head is there again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when it happens. Nah, okay. there he is. <laughs> Deep. I got him. Deep. Okay. Continue, Colin. Long story short, I think NMB did overall good. Uh, just unfortunate that not of many of them ranked uh, in that top 20. STU surprised me as well, but only because I'm not really following them at all. So to hear some actually neat voices uh, from them is actually pretty good. Um, which uh, the NMB, what I just said about that, I actually kind of disagreed with Robin. Something else I disagreed with with Robin, uh, he said that it was surprising that NGT members didn't really rank well. I wasn't surprised. I... They have big farms, but singing talent, uh, that was, that tended not to be good. Sorry, not sorry. Um, I was not particularly impressed, uh, honestly, but th th don't take that the hard way about them. Um, but singing wise, I was just n not really the, oh, actually the only one that surprised me was number 19, Sugahara Riko. Uh, she has this high-pitched voice which i can see some people not liking but uh her singing actually masked that in a good way and i thought she did well uh so i actually was happy that she got in yeah but no no um <laughs> like rob uh like darren said a lot of character but singing hmm. no koreans helped her with her voice but not for me and well spoilers but she didn't rank in in mm. the end and she didn't uh, uh unfortunately perhaps oh well. all That's right it. so then the second day was and that was akb 48 and ske 48 i'm still missing some names because I, I was hoping they would actually be in it but apparently she was busy with with like other work no ske actually had very very few members participating like yeah very so, so that was still weird on this side um, let's see, before I continue, just check out that nobody has frozen. Yeah, everybody here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, starting in at 18th position, because three members in there, is Shimo Gucci Hina, Hinana, Hinana. from AKB48, Omori Miyu from AKB48, Asai Nanami from AKB48, Kawamoto Saya from AKB48, Sato Minami, from AKB48, well, of course, because again, hey, uh, Produce48. Oguri Yui, uh, number 14, uh, together with Fuka, Fukuoka Sena from AKB48. Uh, at 13 is Shirayuki Koaku from SKE48. From Team 8, at to number 12, is Takahashi Sayaka. Uh, at 11 is Otake Hitomi. Uh, number 9 is Yahagi Moika and Yokoyama Yui. From AKB48, mm -hmm. not the teammates. No. Uh, at eight position is Takaya Nagi Akane. So that's pretty good for her that she's uh, mm -hmm. on there. It has a good voice. At number six is Yokoyama Yui, Team 8 version. And uh, Utada Hatsuka from Team 8. At number mm -hmm. four is Yamauchi Suzuran uh, from SKE48. And Nojima Kano from SKE48. And here's surprising. At number two, it's Risen Airi from Team 8 and Oda Erina from Team 8. So, I was very surprised when I heard Oda Erina wasn't first place because, you know, she won the AK Bingo uh, competition. And, well, I don't want to be, you know, biased and favorite, but at number one, it's Okada Nana from AKB48. She blew everyone out of the water. And she even said, this, this wasn't my best. And I was like, are you kidding me? It's like her voice after her operation now she had on her throat is it's just even higher. I didn't even know she was so higher. But her soul, her passion, when she sings, that's, that's the only one I always watch because, you know, twice. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that she became number one because she, even though Masi Juna won the Sosankyo, because she was out of it, the one that really shows face of being the number one AKB48 right now, that's to me, it's Okada Nana. It's it really is really 2019 going to be very interesting for her because she's been killing it ever since I uh, just completely blew it away. So I'm expecting her to win the entire thing. So what do you guys think? Yeah, I wanted Derek to hear first. I I I uh, I, I love Natan. 
I I want her to win. Uh, I don't care. I, I think you said if Tani's not in it, then honestly, it's like not Tom for me. So um, and not Tom. Honestly, like I could totally see this being a precursor to 2019 being her year, like her bringing the crown back to AKB. Possibly, you never know. Just never know. It's just she's she's got that power. Although Oda Arena is amazing, and and I, that is kind of surprising she didn't get it. Um, but at the same time, if if Natan got it, she got it. I I don't think you can touch her. I really don't. Also, too, didn't Natan do like theater stuff recently? Like I'm sure that's helped her as well. Uh, the, yeah, there was a Majeska stage play. Uh, she did Majeska stage play. She did the Romeo right. Juliet. Another oh, Majeska. Earlier, uh, Romeo and Juliet was like May. Uh, yeah, still, but she also did Majeska uh, stage play again. Uh, the, she... the point. She's really a lot of, of, of practice in, in singing, and she's been really right. focusing on singing after right. she came back from her health issue. But then, right. you know, her throat got a little sore. She had the operation. Sure. And sure. She's, she's still training. The thing is, her main focus is on voice. She's really, like, every technique, everything learning, how to, uh, like, things she must eat to have, like, a better voice. And you can see that her talent of singing is in there. She has this unique voice when I hear it that I really instantly know is not just same to winning with Yamamoto Sayaka. If, if Sayaka was still in this, then there's no chance. There's like you have Yamamoto Sayaka in there. There's no one else that can defeat her on this side. But Nachan has also this distinctive voice. And that's what they're looking for. And it's like the difference. You know, you're not just singing. You can tell that she is putting emotion when she sings everything she's going to sing. And that's what they're looking for. So that's why I believe she's number one. And, you know, in my book, she's always number one. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the character thing, though, comes into play then if you go, if you're going to add emotion into it as well. I'm, I'm all for passion and singing. I think passion drives good singing. But I think at the same time, like, if you're also rewarding good singing, you have to reward technique. And it's good to hear that Natan's been working on that because that's also, I think, very important to be like a really skilled singer. I I work with, you know, a group of girls that like are really skilled. At least, you know, a couple of them have really done their best to master how to sing and, and, and do it well and do it with complicated, very complex music, all the while with complex choreography on top of it. And I think... Again, when I, I'm, I'm at that level, or I've worked with people like, like for example, Yanamu, Yanamu, Narachaz, that girl, I mean, you know, you want to hear her sing, somebody sing, like, just listen to that girl, open her mouth and sing for two minutes, and you're, you're convinced you've heard, like, the angel of, like, an angel from heaven. Like, she's, she's got that voice. So, not everybody in AKB can be like that. And actually, to be honest, it, would be, it wouldn't be interesting if they, they were like that. Uh, then I think they'd be like K-pop in that sense. They, they'd have to be so perfect. I, I like that there's imperfection in all of it. When you take a bunch of girls that are imperfect, you put them with the one or two girls that are perfect, it's cool. It's like it, it just it makes it interesting. But I think when it comes to this type of very special competition that's been over the years in AKB, it's always been about technique, about can you actually really sing – and then really, really, really putting it out there. Like, I'll give you a name from the past. Anybody remember? What's her name? Yeah, yes, uh, uh, oh, God. <laughs> y Yuka, Yuka Masada. Yuka? Yeah. Masada Yuka. You remember her? She was always uh, going head-to-head -head with uh, Wasserman uh, for the singing. Mm -hmm. And she, she, got, she got ousted out of what was a Team K, I think, because of a scandal. Um, but, like, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? But yeah, Masada, yeah, 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 yeah. like... That girl, like that's what I'm talking about. Like when you get girls that can like actually legit sing, you're carrying on that tradition. I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing to reward girls like Yamada Noah who just, I don't think can sing at all, but you know has great character. And it's cool. I I, got, I I think you gotta have both. I I gotta mention something because you work of course with Necronomicon, and mm -hmm. there's also like you can improve yourself like you used to be. So one of my favorite songs from Necronomicon is Call in the Stars, like a lot of others sure. have. So, I listened to the new version of Skull and the Stars on the latest album. And, mm. you know, they, they changed the instruments because it's more like of a rocky version mm -hmm. to that. But I can tell that the voices have gone up or like a lot better compared to when Skull and the Stars was first released, I believe. 
So there you well, can tell there is a improvement when when people you know work on these things and it, characters are also wise, but you can tell that they've been working on their voices a lot, and you see the result is better. So in this case, would also be happening in AKB, I would say. You no, know, they they work hard on it. If you have that effort, not just only focus on handshakes, variety, and like, hey, why well, I'm not rewarded? No, you need to work for it. Yeah, well, I I think and and it's it's I I know where you're going with the comparison. I and I appreciate you bringing it up. I would say with like Necroma, like that Skulls and Stars version is new. It's the band version. Um, so they had, they had the band in the background. Um, but like the members that were on the first record, I don't think are even on this one. Like there's mm. there's a few that are. But it's like so like sorry sorry and Okaki, I think pretty much if I'm not mistaken. Mm. But it's like. They they really have improved their voices over the years, of course. I mean, Okaki is like she's a beast now. I mean, that girl, she she is like the girl I like. You want the singer in Necroma? It's it's Okaki easily. But I would say like as far as you know improving and things like that go, that's like their signature song. So that's a song like they have a lot of practice singing because it's every single performance we do it. There's it's very rare we don't play it. It's usually our ender. You know, because that's the one everyone comes to see us play pretty much. Mm. You know, that's like our ins I call them the Insta Classics. And it, like, if, if you're an idol group and you have an Insta Classic, like, you're a good group. Very few groups have Insta Classics. So, AKB, you know, for how many years had like boom, 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 they had like 20 in a row Insta Classics. It was, it was like ridiculous how good they were. Um, of course, that's why we were so critical because we're used to that and that it, we don't have that for years now. But doesn't mean it won't come back. But I also think the reason I'm bringing that up is because if you're going to reward good singers and, and or, or singers with characters or whatever, then you need to really put them in positions where they can lead AKB in that sense. You know, put the good singers in, in the front, you know? I mean, I, but then again, it kind of, like, dispels the idea of having a Sasenkyo vote because it's like naturally you want the best singer in the front because they're the one that's going to have the best voice on the, the recording. They're not going to sound – it'll make the whole thing sound good. But – Again, AKB's always been quirky. It's always been about not doing that. Idol in general is about not necessarily perfection and with voice, perfection in, in the idea that they're commie, yes, but not perfection in voice necessarily. And and I think um how do I put it? This competition makes me wonder in the next year or two which one of these girls will come out and not only improve themselves, but really come to be known as, oh, that's the girl that can really sing. I'm looking for the new gem in this. That's kind of what I want out of this. this that's uh, that's interesting that you're saying this because a lot of critique right now is mm -hmm. it's a predictable list. Mm -hmm. And and the thing is, it's like they were really searching for the one with musical talent. And okay, yeah, if, if you put the one that already has talent, there's a pretty good chance that they will be on the top because they're so freaking good. Um, mm. uh, I'm like a name I'm missing is Takashi Judy, for instance, because oh, I know she oh. has a wonderful yeah. voice. Oh, what happened there? She was very busy with her own projects because you know she does a lot of musicals and and in winter time a lot of things are happening on that. Another one is Furata Now because she already has a album coming out or a single coming out with her solo uh, version. Go ahead, uh, Colin. Takashi Judy did compete. She did compete. Yeah, and I know why you didn't know. It was not good. What happened? And I, it, I, I will say this. I mean this from an objective sp uh, standpoint. I really do. She picked the wrong song. Uh, that can happen. That can uh, happen. It, it's called Jupiter, I think. I, 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 really, I really say this objectively. That was, in my opinion, objectively not good. Mm. I, the, her high notes were off. Were, were off. Mm. Yeah, it was. I, I, it. I, I, I would not say that she is a bad singer. I would say that she's a good singer, but that moment was no. I was like, no. Well, maybe. Um, I'm not going to be objectifying that, but maybe her focus lately was on something else than actually keeping up her singing talent. Like, her appearance lately has changed thanks to the Korean style. So maybe she was no. focusing more on that and less focusing on practicing her singing. No, I don't agree. I don't know. I'm just I'm just spec uh, just speculating. It's like someone like her would have done this more easily. I would say. I I just think she picked the wrong choice. Mm. Um, 
Can happen. Uh, may, may, you know, maybe someone can say what she's been up to lately. There are always people who know. I, I can't remember from the top of my head. But someone knows and maybe can like give a reason why she has been busy with something else, hmm. perhaps. Well, oh, that's uh, a little disappointing. But I'm still excited for this competition. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the, their new, uh, well, the final list, basically. Because they're still going to announce it before the end of the year. So no, okay, yeah, I had a feeling. Um, the first list you uh, named was the top twenty from the first day. What you just named was the t uh, top twenty from the second day, but that's not the final list. Oh, they first combined this? Yeah. Ah, do you have that list for me then? I have. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. So number fourteen, because it's there are a lot of shared positions. It's uh, Takayanagi Akane and Akiyoshi Yuka. Uh, she's from HKT. On the 11th place is Yokoyama Yui from Team 8, Utada Hatsuka from Team 8, and Kojina Yui from HKT. Mm -hmm. uh, eight shared positions are uh, Toyonaga Aki from HKT, Tuzuran from SKE, and Nojima Kano from SKE. Then there is also uh, Takeda Tomoka on 7th, 6th is Yamasaki Amiru, 5th uh, is Yano Honoka. Four is Sakamoto Arena. Two shared position is Risen Irie and Oda Arena. And number one is Okatanana. So the top three, I want to say, if I check quickly. Yeah. Is the so no I Yamada see. Noe. So she got... No, she was in the top 20 from that day. Okay. But not in the top 20 from when all the groups... So it's going to be these 20 members. girls are going to compete. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I have my top three. <laughs> so... I think it's it's already decided in my opinion. There are also uh, judge recommendations, and these are the girls that did not pass. But I want to list them anyway because Go it ahead. may be interesting. Uh, from NMB, it's uh, Akashi Natsuko. Mm -hmm. From STU, it's uh, Kadowaki Miyuna. From AKB, it's Otake Hitomi, and also from AKB, Yahagi Moeka. From SKE, Shirayuki. Kohaku and the last one, NMB's Shiroma Miru. Oh, yeah, she didn't I make don't it. know what. The... Yeah, that was. I thought she was good, but like maybe I. Uh, it's maybe well, it did, this was really a singing competition, uh, but, but I think the strongest point Shiroma Miru has is her visuals. You know, yeah. her eyes are you know the smile effects that she has. So uh. plus her body type. She had a yeah. she had a shooting again lately, like in a, a bikini, mm. and it was way too dangerous to talk about yabai. on this show. Yeah, yabai, oh, Anthony, yabai. PG, whatever, no. Rated hey, R. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. But I'm, who did? I'm, I'm I'm still looking forward to the uh, competition. Wait, wait, who, who did? Who did? Shiro who Miru at the bikini shoot. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, well, wait, photo book, that's all I gotta say. When's this girl getting one? She's gonna have like five by now. She has those ab lines that's that's really dangerous, I would say. She has everything. Yeah. Yeah, but she's, she's something else. Mm. But I'm looking okay, forward but... to the to the final part. With that being the top oh. twenty, I actually agree with uh Derek. Um I really want new blood. Um, Me too. If blood. you remember, perhaps my first episode, the first thing that uh, Robin asked me is how AKB looked in March of this year compared to the time that I joined. And what I said is the lack of pillars. And I feel, and I've said this, I believe it was two episodes ago, that AKB lacks in the pillar department. Uh, I, uh, two episodes ago, I compared it to SKE, which I kind of said a bit earlier, who has who have a lot of pillars. And with this singing competition, personally, I would like a hidden gem, uh, someone new, uh, necessarily, but more someone who, <sighs> Robin, don't take this the wrong way, but someone who would not have gotten this otherwise. I, Okada Nana has a lot going for her. You know, you can name it. I, I, I don't have enough fingers to name it. But when you have like Oda Arena, but that, you know, how about her? Or mm. Risen Irie, did not know her. Or Sakamoto Arena, she 
she won me over. I like uh, the I really. like the fact that we're now at this stage where Okada Nana is like oh again Okada Nana or we're getting into that like she I, she's I, already I, been getting so much that, that feeling that means that she is now really in that ace position that with so Senkyo when it happened we still had oh but we have this name and we have this name and we have this name and now it's like. In a few months later, it's like, yeah, 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 okay, no, no. You know, she's always the front. She's always uh, the the center points, basically. I like that we're getting there because if we compare to last year, last year Okana was still up and coming, or get just getting in that Senbatsu position, you know, like a regular style. Was yeah, high tension was her first Senbatsu, or am I mistaken? I forgot. Oh, but no, that was Komi, I think. No, I forgot. No, Sorry. I think Ko Komi was, was that. Komi. No, no, um. So, Okada Nana was. Oh, I, f I I need to learn this this system. I I, I remember she started in Sosenkyo when she was fifty one, then she became twenty ninth, then she became something Senbatsu. Then ninth, and then fifth. Yeah. Yeah. So she is uh, on Sosenkyo wise. It's still not. Like, she's getting gradually there, but she's already now in those past months later. She's been really taking the group by storm. It's like she's really representing the group. You know, also in, in... There was this performance, and it had Yukurin, it had Yokoyama Yui, Sashihara, and then normally I would say Sakura had this position, or Jurina, but they weren't available. So yeah. Okada Nana was there. Like, yeah, the, with, with like the Majiska uh, school. Yeah, wear, yeah, I, would I say. remember. Yeah. So that is her position right now. She is the one to go to. If 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 you know, Sashi Yukirin and and Yukiyama Yui are the veterans, I would say. You know, the yeah. Sokantaku and the, the the aces, the the top. But after that, you don't have Masu Juna who is in full back, and I still believe because Sakura's gone, because Masu Juna was gone, Okada really took all this. You know, I I need to represent AKB and. This may be a shift we're seeing now. Because, Colin, you just said, like, you know, maybe I look like she's someone else. And then, Okada Nara, I've been seeing her lately a lot. So I'm very happy that she's in there because she has that position now. She has that title. And we'll see next year what it will be because I really think Sosenki is going to be so interesting next year. Just because of these, these few months. Totally, totally we, agree. We, you. Uh, you and I had, like, a bit of a discussion about that earlier. When the time comes, I, I still stand where I stood a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I still mean that uh, with a with a good intent, but that's uh, pretty interesting. Um, I just want to say about this to sing, uh, not the thank you, uh, the singing <laughs> contest. Um, I am very happy for Yamauchi Suzuran. I'm very happy for uh, Team Eight Yokoyama Yui. Uh, I have to be honest about uh, Takayanagi uh, Akane. I I maybe it's me. I did not thought of her as a good singer but that may be because I, I never thought of it you know mm. so I actually really liked her and the another SK member Noji Makano he, she has a great operatic voice I really thought that was very nice um, I the, the list that we have I'm okay with I yeah. hope I hope like I said I want a nice surprise you know something like you know Barrett would agree with me new blood someone <laughs> Someone new. I, if 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 it's uh, Suzerod, I would be okay. Or you know, you know, even Kojina, uh, Yeah, Kojina Yui is in there too. She she needs something because she it's has not new blood, but still, it's it's something good. Yeah, she has. She is. She's been in the like for a while. Suzerod a bit, but okay. I would you know I would take Rest and Irie. I I I think it's a, it's a, a very interesting list. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. All mm -hmm. right, so we'll see what happens in that. Um, we past the hour mark and though uh, that's very nice we had some good topics um i think the biggest one if we go into our recommendations for next week mm. i think we all forgot to mention this what is next week oh i know i know i know go I ahead know. colin what is it the 13th anniversary the 13th anniversary of akv 48 From so that means oh, wow. we're gonna get the special 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 stage it happens once a year. The new, the line, you know, getting that pink line on there. Maybe some announcements. Mm -hmm. Maybe some special stages. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what that will be. So, last year we had the team shuffle. Uh, so it's. I, I wonder what they will do this time. I would not be surprised if it's just, just okay. Nothing too major, but 
maybe they do something completely new. Maybe I don't know. I new stages. I, I, um, no, they just had new yeah, stages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, and I don't see them announcing a new single yet. I think that's for. Hey, new hour, sister so group. I, why not? Oh, oh no! Please, <laughs> no. no. No more. No. Stop. Stop. No. Uh, no, the only the auditions only non for seventeen gen. Oh no! We no no no. Stop! No. Stop! Too many members. Stop! Stop! stop it. No, that's not. No, I. The only thing I would like to see is all the AKB members and uh, past AKB members, like the aforementioned. I'm, I'm going to be very from, selfish. She's ninth. I'm going to be very selfish. I think. I'm hoping. The announcement of a European tour. Oh, that'd be a great. European tour. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It won't happen, but. <laughs> you can that, still that, no, it. I would like it, but go to the UK, then go to Belgium, or yeah, just go to Netherlands. It's easier. But I mean, like, if they make a European tour, I will be like, just praise, praise heavens! I will get just so many tickets. Actually, have they ever been to Europe outside of France? Ukraine has been to well, they yeah, they, they've been uh, to know, yes. they've been to Paris. Um. They've so been that's to France. No, I mean, like outside of France. Yeah. They've been to the UK. Rush, Russia. No. <laughs> NGT48. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's okay. Um, no, AKB has not gone to anything in Europe besides France. And if how crazy one, is that? If there's one country I see them go, it's there. Germany. Or Germany. Germany yeah, is I a see. big one. <laughs> mm-hmm. But mm. uh, maybe England. But then I'm out of options. I don't know. I would like that. Yeah. But. Before I cut off uh, just now, I, I think, you know, I would like to see some, you know, uh, uh, Yamuchi Cicerone there because she, uh, she was a 9th gen member. Mm -hmm. uh, if she's there, hey, that would be great. But I, I don't expect uh, something that we could predict in the sense of a new stage play, new song, new whatever uh, in that sense. Uh, but if it will be something, it's something they've never done before. Graduation announcement by Sashi and Yukini. Oh no. God, no! I we cannot do that episode next month, uh, Sunday, if that or Monday, uh, if that happens, because I will be an emotional wreck. If, <laughs> or even Minigishi Minami, Jesus Christ! No. Mm. Ah. Now I don't want the the anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hey, it's thirteen. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, but. That's, uh, yeah, but, but that's I mean, but it, if Sasha and you carry an announce, I mean, they're already one foot out. You know, yeah, it's like true. they, Sa Sashi. I, I don't even associate her with AKB sometimes anymore. It's almost yeah. hard to because she's so not there in that regard. And then also like you, Karen. I mean, she's done her job I and mean, she's doing her solo stuff. I mean, she's yeah. just she's psychic all over. You know, so it's like to me, AKB needs to keep their core. You know, they need to like the focus on the nanas and and you know the the not the nachans and. You know, have Yui Han, you know, continue her role and oh, improve yeah. it more. You know, just they, they, they just need to focus on the girls that we hope are going to be around for the next couple of years. And mm -hmm. most of all, Serena has got to come back and really be like, yeah, like you know, I took my time off, and I'm, you know, let's make 2019 what I have left. You know, the best, like you said, Rom, like come back with the vengeance. You know, and and that I would just be happy even with the declaration next next week with that. That mm. just even saying that would give me the kind of momentum and energy I need. And then just after she says that, then they all just crash into like one great old single after another. To just just let us remember what group we're talking about: mm. the legendary, the iconic, mm. the all eternal AKB48. So it's like, you know, it, it's I, it, even if Sashi and you Karen announces Colin, don't get too torn up about it because in a way they already have. It's more mm, like. Yeah. AKB's tran this has been a huge transition year for them. Huge. True. So expect transition. It, it, it would be a, it would be a complete transition if they did announce. One or other or both. Michan, that would be a little more actually that'd be a little more damaging for me because I love her and she's the last remaining first gen and, and she's gonna announce any time, I'm sure, but it's like I just like that she's there. Mm. I like that she's holding on. Like I, it's mm. just so weird to even think of her not in AKB. You know, even though I don't see her anymore, but it's like I, she's she's me, John. Like it's like yeah. she's got to be there. She has she's been there part since of the, the she's part of the furniture. <laughs> part yeah, of the chair like, they have in the front. Mm. That chair in the corner. Sometimes you, know? you need to dust her off. It's like it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
out. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Michan. I'm sorry. You were amazing. Yes, and, we uh, love you, Michan. You're, you are the best. You are the best. And your abs are amazing. I have Anyways. one more recommendation that I need to watch. I forgot that I should have watched it. It's AKB48 show. Because oh. um, the group that I really want to hear the full version and a dance off with Koji Mamako, Takashi Juri, Mukashi Miyon, and Okada Nana doing that, that wonderful song that I can't pronounce. I need DX for that because he can do it like that. But it's the. Something like that. Yeah. Giri Giri. Something like that. So go watch that because good song. And other than that, it's hey, we're, we're going to go crazy in December with all the festivals, music, uh, Christmas stuff, all the compilations you're going to do. You know, art is going to combine. And hopefully we'll get something like last year with Hirata Yurina and uh, I forgot the guy's name, but that was a wonderful moment just to see you yeah. So those are my recommendations. Colin, do you have something? Jurina's birthday stage. It's probably uh, going to happen any hour now if it gets released early this episode. Uh, otherwise, watch it back. Maybe something cool happens. Um, anniversary. We have had nothing really going on for the past major weeks. Uh, the group, us, uh, we have been talking about it behind the scenes. It's like, what can we do? So we have a lot in this week and two. Um, I say anniversary. Hope, Hoping nothing too emotional happens still. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to say that. Um, otherwise... Ah, that's um, Stand by <laughs> You is getting uh, released soon. Fortune Cherry. Do you have no way, man? Have you voted for uh, the uh, request hour? You have to do it now because time is running out. That's it. All right. Yon Jin, I don't know. Go. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. Uh, Derek. <laughs> yeah. Um. I. You know. Uh. We were talking a little bit about HKT Bingo. I think last week it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. I, I, I don't know. I want to I wanna make that one of the recommendations I have because I, I even though it wasn't necessarily, from what I've been hearing from people, uh, like the best thing, I still think we should support HKT. So I'd say watch that. I think I'm going to actually start when I have a little bit of free time here and just go through it and see what it was like. So maybe we all can do that and, you know, give our HKT girls some love and support. Uh, so I'd say do that. Watch the singing competition if you can. Uh, obviously, that sounds to be very fun. Uh, I, I haven't had a chance to really watch it, so I'm going to go do that as well. Um, on the Chica Underworld Idol side, I would just say, yeah, my group, um, Sari and Hina, are leaving Necro ne Necroma uh, January 7th. That will be their final show at uh, WWWX, I want to say, in Shibuya. It's one of those places. It's WWWWWX. It's one or the other. It's, it's big. Mm. I just know it's huge. Um if you can come to Japan, if that's a financial possibility, um, or if you are in Japan at that time for some godforsaken reason, you would actually come there in January. Um, not that it's like bad here, but just, you know, it's January. Um, please come and, and show some love and support. It's going to be a lot of people there, I think. A lot of, uh, very lot of idols are coming, I have a feeling. Uh, so you will be amongst idols in the crowd if that's, you know, not that that should make your reason for coming but it's just cool that you can watch with people that you also support um so that's happening and then their last official concert with uh sorry and hina um is in the group outside of that is going to be on christmas eve so you know maybe if you are going to be in japan and you want to celebrate christmas uh with us uh please come with me to you know that's where i'll be uh all night and christmas eve so be celebrating with necroma so and then other than that um I just think that uh, yeah, we should uh, we should keep it on AKB. Uh, next year is a big year. It's 13. That's 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 amazing, and uh, I I really sincerely hope that um, you know that, that that we can we can see where AKB is going to go in the future. I I hope that the well wishes, the declarations, things like that that will come next week will uh will, will be inspiring to all of us. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Mm -hmm. so, and Very I think good. it will. Very good, very good. Well, if that's all then we have, then I'm going to say mm -hmm. thank you for watching this week's episode of 48 Talk. And we'll see you next time then. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Number one. Woo. Woo.